All I do is just put it in my hand, turn it on, and I literally end up just knocking out. And I looked at the science behind it, and it's basically therapy for your brain. Hi, so this is like Factor Cap, except I'm a neuroscientist, and I'm going to tell you whether products like that should or should not work based on my understanding of the brain. So it's a small device, you hold it in your hand, and it's supposed to help you fall asleep. And according to their website, it claims to use something called CES, which is Cranial Electrotherapy Stimulation. Now again, the C in CES stands for cranial, because you have electrodes that are attached to your head, your cranium. The electrodes are placed on the head because it gives the most direct access to the brain. There are studies showing that CES has some positive effects for things like anxiety, depression, and insomnia. But in this case, you hold this product in your hand, which of course is pretty far from your brain. So I don't quite understand, because the purpose of CES is to apply electrical stimulation directly to the brain, which can alter its function, but in this case it's being applied to the hand. It's sort of like if your doctor said, okay, your ankle's broken, but instead of putting a cast on it, we're going to have you hold the cast in your hand. I couldn't find any information on how handheld CES devices like this might alter neural function, but I did find this paper which studied another CES device called the Alpha Stim 100, which is designed to stimulate the brain through electrodes placed on the earlobes, but the study found that it didn't affect sleep in 40 women. So unless I'm missing something here, I'm calling Cap on this one.